Hey guys, welcome back to another Salted George. Today I'm going to take you through the process of how I got this spindle unseized and working. Banging man. Okay, first job, obviously we've got to remove the windscreen wiper off of the spindle. So and what I'm gonna to have to do, if I put, right, let's come in through here. Oh, I don't know whether or not we're gonna be able to see it. Let's get another torch out. Right, now I've zoomed in. I'm find the, uh, here we go. You can just see the tab, but it's up underneath and it's a bit of a pig to get to. You can get to it with, like I'm doing here now, with a very small screwdriver. There you go. There's your little tab. So it's actually underneath the arm here, rather than on this side to make it a bit more difficult, but never mind. Um, so what I've got is uh, some, uh, like, clip to take a door panel off, you know, clip remover thing. So I should try, will it fit? Yes, it will. Good, that's good. Yep, that's good. That'll fit. So what I should do is unhook that little tab uh, and then obviously use these. So, and it's a bit of a fiddly job, unfortunately, but never mind. <clears throat> I'd say that's a win. Come back. Okay, there it is off. Didn't damage any of the paint. <laughs> underneath there which is good now by looking at this way you can see uh, where that clip is right before I start uh, going up underneath the dash I think I'll give this a quick hoover out it saves me laying in all the rubbish like you know what I mean all the crap that's on the floor let me get a quick go <laughs> Well, the carpet has come up really nice. Uh, in the advert, Bill did say that uh, it was a new carpet. I mean, it is a new carpet, but I tell you what, this is really good quality. This isn't your normal uh, loop Mopar stuff that you get. This is this is a really nice carpet. I'm really pleased with that. Absolutely, that's come up lovely. Just a quick vac like that, that's come up nice. So, right, I'm gonna take these seats out. And uh, so that I can have room to lay down. When I go up underneath the dash, it'll be easier then, won't it? So with George. It's always good to have a look around inside before you uh, hoover up. I've got some... Uh, number plate uh, what do you call it the uh, the thing that goes into the front bumper or back bumper and screws through the number plate so that's good what else we got we've got a rock uh, no it's not it's a shell what else we got oh we got uh, a couple of seat belt bolts here that's good one Two, three, four. Coolio. Got some sort of sticker thing going on here. Oh, for sale. Probably. What do you reckon? Yep. Right. Let's carry on hoovering, shall we? Job, job, sort of George. That's tidied that lot up, isn't it? Nice clean carpet. I sort of say it looks really. It is a new one, I know, but it's actually really good quality. I'm pleased about that. The back seat here is uh, just starting to get a bit on the the uh, the seams, getting a bit on the crusty side. There's a couple of splits there. Uh, I think I've done 
one or two of these myself just sat down just a minute ago um, I've just been having a look at the back here even a back parcel shelf's good there's no uh, speakers being cut into the back or anything like that so sail panels obviously wants a new one here don't know what's been going on here uh, looks like we might have had a bit of a a mouse fitch in here, the old mousekovich. So uh, yeah, it's um, it is what it is, nice and clean. So what's this floor like? Can't see much down there. Looks good. I think I might take the carpet up soon and uh, have a look at the floor see what it's like sorted right here we go up underneath that say i'm going to remove that screw to uh, move that fuse box out of the way and then uh, we'll get to the uh, be able to get to the spindle so let's undo those see if we can get to them first sort with george all right i'll come back to you well, i guess now i've done that I'll have to get this little nest out of here. Something's been in it. Left his nuts behind anyway. Sort with George. Right, well we're getting there. But as you can see what's happening here is that there's not enough room for the bolt, uh, sorry, for the nut. There's not enough room for the nut to come down. Um, completely off unless I move this down as well because that arm is in the way of course I can't move the arm because it's seized so what an absolute nightmare but we'll get there okay she's free there she goes brilliant right let's try and fight this out now because I'm not in the best positions underneath here excuse me won't be long Okay, well she's out at last. Let's just give this a bit of a wire brush up as you do. Give it a clean. I'm going to try and get some uh, penetrating oil down in there. Uh, both ends. If not, what I'll have to do is what we've done with the Polara and just drill one or two holes down in there. So. Let's see what happens first by getting some penetrating oil down in there, shall we? Sorted. Right, I've just given this uh, a soak for about half hour. And my <coughs> perimile grip's on the end of here. Let's see if we can get any kind of uh, movement at all. I don't want to go too mad. No, nothing. Uh, we've got no movement yet at all. Unfortunately, I don't want to break anything, obviously. No. Well, you got no movement at all. Oh, she seized a good one. We've got no movement at all. Let's keep going. What I'm worried about is in case it might just be this uh, join here that is um, that's moving, where that joins uh, this shaft. Uh, I I need that and that to move. So what I'm going to do uh, is put this back in here, and then put on the uh, wiper arm. As we get a bit of force turning from down the bottom and up the top because the thing is 
this is only aluminium this this shaft bit here so it's a real soft metal let me move the camera a bit there you go this is only a soft piece you know this only soft metal so i really don't want to break it bearing in mind she's what 73 so she's 47 48 year old so what i'm going to do is put this on and see whether or not i have any luck uh turning oh hang on see look there is something there is some movement here can you see the end of these see the end of these there is a little bit of movement there so we're getting there so that's good come along don't be a pleb for crying out loud come on let me get this set up and I'll come back and just try this end I'll try it this way see if it makes a difference with the device not that it will but you never know It's obviously got to be moving because you can see this bit here moving. So we're getting there. I'm going to say slowly but surely, but we're getting there because the next thing was to um, heat it up, but I really don't fancy doing that. Right. We'll get there. Right, I'll come back. Okay, it looks like we're getting somewhere. We've got a lot more movement going on now. That's good. Every time that goes backwards and forwards, it's getting it just that little bit more. Here we go. That's great. Come on, girl. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. That's fab. Take that off. Right, here we go. You can see that turning lovely. That's good. Let's work it, work it, work it. Excuse me. There we go. That's got it. Bit of patience. That's got it. Let's turn that over now. There you go, that's it. Cool, look at the crap coming out of there now. Look at the colour of it. Oh, we were. Oh yeah, it's filthy. I've got a rust coming out of that. Well, that's uh, that's the first time that's done a a full three sixty for many a year. <laughs> right, she's working. That's good. Let's just give this a cool yeah. Look at it. Get the crap coming out of there. All right, let's give this a good clean up and I'll come back. Okay, well, we've got, uh, we've got this far. I can do it by hand, which is good. 
but it's still a little bit on the stiff side. Um, who were uh, misses. Uh, but if you put the penetrating fluid down in there, it doesn't, even if I've got this upright, it doesn't go all the way through. So what I am going to do, you've seen it done on this channel before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole straight in the middle. I'm only going to do the one. And I'm going to put penetrating fluid in the middle and uh, we'll get it going and, uh, and make it a lot looser. And then what I can do is put some grease in it uh, and pump it in. And then obviously we'll have a, uh, some grease going up that shaft as well. So this is just a little bit too stiff for my liking. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, I'll twist that that way just put that on just a tad yeah it's just it's not as light to do as what that other wiper is so obviously this was seized but bearing in mind it's the wiper motor that's got to turn all this lock uh, I'd rather have that as free as possible so that's what I'm going to do. Sorry, George. Okay, I'm just going to send a punch. Uh, it says that my drill hopefully won't slip. Lovely. Right, I'm just using a 2mm drill bit. That's all I want. better here we go I can still see aluminium I just want to get through to the brass which is not going to be too far for now I wouldn't have thought right what I've done now I had a two mil drill bit going through and then I've just widened the top half to about three and a half mil um, so if I now put some penetrating fluid in there let the bubbles go now hopefully there you go, you can start seeing it. If I turn that, it's uh, there's stuff happening there, as you can see. So, the centre part of the shaft is now getting lubricated as well. So, that's what we're going to do now. There you go, she's going down lovely, that's good. As soon as you do that, it goes straight into the hole. That's brilliant. At least we're now getting something to the centre of the shaft, that's good. I want to carry on doing this until I can get some uh, penetrating fluid out both ends. If that makes sense. I want to see it come out of, certainly want to see it come out of the bottom end here. Right, let's keep on with this for a bit, shall we? Right, what I've done now, I've just made that hole a tad deeper. In fact, the um, the camera picks it up better than what it does in, in natural, but you can now see that centre shaft turning. I'll turn that. So now, what I want to do now is um, just try and sort of force some grease down through the hole uh, and let this take it in so I can take that off now and uh, start putting it in as you do there you go starting to draw it in that's good. Well, she's not quite as free as I would like, uh, but she's definitely a downside more free than what she was earlier on when we first started. I think uh, by the time she gets back in the car and there's a wiper attached, etc. Um, yeah, I think that will run okay and that will help. With it going backwards and forwards, yeah, see, look, 
There you go, with that going backwards and forwards like that, that'll help spread the grease. So I've got in as much as I possibly can. Um, yeah, I think I'll call that a win. So, George. Okay, next day. Right, I've just been down to a local uh, DIY place, as you do, DIY.com. Uh, I think actually and that's their web address, but there you go. Right, while I was down there, I was having a chat with a guy, um, and I was saying about, obviously, what I would like to do is get some sort of a washer, like yay thick. He pointed me to these tap washers. Now, I'd have to drill out the center, and there's four in a pack here. And also what I got was these two, because they've got a bit of a ridge to them. So my plan is to try and drill straight through uh, with a size 10 drill bit, uh, because that looks like then it will fit over the shaft. I've put an O-ring on here. Uh, so if I put two of them, I've got the O-ring, put two of them and then one of them, because this, uh, the ridge on the top there fits pretty snug into that hole. I'll give it a try. I'm not going to say it's going to work, but you know what it's like, make do and mend. If you can get these for, I think I'll pay about £1.50 for them, so it'll be about $2, call it. Um, yeah, you never know, it might work. If it don't, I'll have to get the proper ones, but it's worth a go. Right, let's crack on. Okay, we got the... Uh... Uh, washer over with uh, the help of some circlip pliers as you do got to be done now what I've done obviously I've got the I've got the o-ring and then I've got the um, uh, washer right now that there is going to be at that height but what I've done obviously this one is still on the car and if I put I can just about squeeze two washers in there so that's obviously the gap that I need. So, looking at that, let's come back over here. That was a tight squeeze for two, so I think that's got two with a bit of space. So I think, to be fair, I probably only want the one washer and one of these ones. And that way then obviously that ridge can go up through the hole uh, yeah, let's give that a go. Just the one and then one of them. That, and that should be fine. Right, let's crack on. Right, well, it turns out that that was a fail. It uh, looks like this one here with the ridge is actually harder rubber than what this one is on the bottom. And by the time I drilled it out, I only had this tiny little piece here left. Uh, so I had to cut it off. So I think what I'm going to do is get rid of that top one, put another one on the bottom so that still gives me the two uh, and then maybe sit an o-ring on top of that so that it can sit up against the um the uh, scuttle panel right let's give that a go right let's get this other one back on you'll see what i mean when i say it's a softer rubber because that will just peel over the other one i had to fight with screwdrivers and picks and everything else just to try and get it over there so right that's on so now I think what I'll do is get an, an O-ring that's uh, the, the size to fit in the scuttle hole uh, and place that over it. And we'll see how we go. Sorted, George. Bang in. Right, back over at the car. Two O-rings here. I've got one that will sit just lovely with the camera. That will sit just lovely on the hole, like so. So the size I'm going to go for is this one, which I think here is 18 by 3.5 millimetres, if that helps somebody out. Here we go, right. So there is the hole, and we've got to get this bugger up in there. Got to find it first. Now the good thing obviously now is that uh, this spindle arm whatever should move i'll tell you what let me get it up in there and i'll come back well actually seeing as they're new washers etc and i didn't know anything about the size of the holes and all that lot they've actually gone in pretty easy so i'm quite pleased about that that's good 
Now, the only thing is, is I can't get my blooming hand up in there. It is what it is. Get in there. Yeah, thank you. That's where you get all the dust and everything else falling down in your eyes. All right. I need both hands. I'll be back with you in a second. Right, we got one nut on. Uh, what I want to do now is just gonna go out and have a look and see what's happening out there. Right, what I want to do now is obviously try and straighten these up uh, before, certainly this one, um, before it pushes up hard, if you see what I mean. So I'm gonna have to do it bit by bit. Uh, go inside, come outside, etc. Uh, unless, hmm, I wonder. Right, hang on, I'll be back in a second. Right, what I'm trying to do is to hook my uh, panel pliers, panel clip pliers back in there just to hold it because I've now managed to get the O-ring to sit in there lovely. Just a shadow, here we go. I've got the O-ring sitting in there lovely and uh, hopefully I won't move it. So, sort of George. Right, let's crack on. Okay, well we got uh, both nuts on. This is so uncomfortable here, I tell you. We've got both nuts on and uh, I'll show you, hang on. Right. Tighten her up, so that's good. Slowly but surely we get there. I've quick. I've been out and had a look at the uh, O-ring, and it seems to be set in a nice position. Let me move over to the other side. Hang on. I've just had to move that arm. Oh, come on. Let's go out and check it again. Honestly, the positions you get in when you're up under a dash is unbelievable. <laughs> okay, right, you can just see the uh, O-ring just there. So that's going to be a nice tight seal around here. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, once that's tightened up, stronger that'll be a i'm going to call that a win and i think what i'll do is i'll probably do the uh, passenger side one just for belt and braces so that they're both done and on the passenger side is a heck of a lot easier to get to so uh once i've tightened this up i should take that up and do that one sort of george right passenger side just above the radio i've just undone it like I say, this spindle is nice and free, so that's great. So let's just pull this one out and see what we like for the for the rubbers or oh, rubber. All right, so we George. Let's go up to the bench. Right, passenger spindle, a little bit of a different shape. Could have done with that one being the seized one, I tell you for the voice, but never mind, it's just what it is. There's the uh, rubber that's perished like anything, but never mind. Let's take that off as you do, if you will. There you go. Cool, look at that. Get this state of that. Right, give that a quick. Uh, clean up I'll chuck some penetrating fluid down there just so as it is lubed uh, yeah and we'll go from there okay that's that done that can go away up there out of the way right I've got a small little o-ring here that I put on first that can go over and sit down on the top there that'll sit there then I'll put the two washers, those, and then one of them. Sort with George. Okay, right. Job, job. Got a couple of uh, 
washers bored out that's good put that one on first as you do any one that's one second one on here we go cool and the o-ring or oh, is that a bit too big i don't know i can't remember let me go and double check that i'll be back in a second here we go no that's fine that is the right one that's good right let's uh go and put them back up inside here we go okay let's see if we can get this one in like we did the last one you straight in there up you go one-handed because i got the camera obviously but never mind it is what it is there you go there you go right you set up that way there find the other hole on the outside there it is that's lovely stay there and we'll get a nut Oh, this one is so much easier to do than the other one. It's fab. Right, that's that one. Right, let's get another one on. I'll come back to you. All right, I've just been uh, just been tucking that O-ring around, make sure that he's in the right place. Once you do, which he is now. That looks pretty central. So let's go and tighten them up. Right, there they are both in. Job done. Obviously we know that uh, this one moves okay. I don't want to put that on properly, but never mind. It's on now. I'll have to take that back off for when, uh, <coughs> when I adjust the uh, wipers. When I put the mechanisms in, I need to order some uh, the rubber uh, rubber plastic type mounts that join the arms to the uh, spindles so once all that lot gets set up then uh, I'll be able to put these on properly but there you go that's lovely that one moves and so does that one there you go I called out the win job job sort of George Right, I'm going to call it there for this video. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this uh, helps somebody out. Um, if you wouldn't mind, like, share. appreciate it if you'd subscribe as well. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Sort of, George.